the Brotherhood without banners and Sandor are traveling through the riverlands and remark upon the colder weather as they reach further north. They come across a seemingly abandoned farmhouse, which Sandor recognizes as the farmhouse he and Arya stayed at a few years earlier after being invited in by a farmer and his young daughter, Sally. As the group moves inside to see if anyone is staying at the farmhouse, Sandor and Beric discover the long dead bodies of both the farmer and Sally inside. Beric and he remark that they most likely committed suicide to avoid starvation. Later, during dinner inside, Sandor questions Beric on why he keeps being resurrected, to which Beric replies he does not know. When Beric talks about the divine justice of the Lord of Light, Sandor dismissively states that if there was such a thing, then Beric would be dead while Sally would still be alive. Thoros then asks Sandor to look into the flames in the hearth. Despite protesting it was his luck to get stuck with a bunch of fire worshippers, Sandor looks into the flames and sees a vision. He says he sees a mountain shaped like an arrow, a castle on the wall, and whites marching towards it. Beric remarks that even though he does not know why he keeps being resurrected, he says that there must be a reason with Sandor agreeing after seeing his vision. Later that night while everyone is sleeping, Sandor goes outside and starts digging graves for the father and daughter. Thoros hears this and goes out to help. After placing the bodies in the grave, Sandor tries to say a prayer for them, but forgets the wording of the seven. He then apologizes, saying that they both deserved better before going back inside the farmhouse. Upon reaching Eastwatch by the sea, Sandor and the Brotherhood are immediately apprehended by wildlings serving alongside the Night's Watch, and confined in the ice cells below the castle. Since the king in the north, Jon Snow lacks enough men for his ranging mission into the lands of always winter to capture a white, he decides to recruit the Brotherhood. Jon recognizes Sandor from the latter's visit to Winterfell years ago, while Gendry openly distrusts the men of the Brotherhood. When Beric gives a speech claiming that the Lord of Light brought them together, aboard Sandor cuts him off and asks Jon if they are coming with them. Jon agrees and says they are all on the same side because they are still breathing. Sandor joins the rest of the Brotherhood, Jon, the Wildlings, led by Tormund Giantsbane, Gendry, and Jorah Mormont in leaving Eastwatch and traveling north of the Wall. While traveling with Jon's companions, Sandor is approached by Tormund, who shows an interest in his burn scars. Though Sandor is hostile towards Tormund and accuses him of desiring him, he appears shocked when he deduces that the woman Tormund lusts after is Brienne of Tarth, and dismisses Tormund's hopes of one day ending up with her. During a snowstorm, the group see a huge bear in the distance which bursts out of the storm and kills Toe of their group, revealing it to be a white. Thoros and Beric set it alight with their flaming swords but this causes Sandor to freeze up and results in the monstrous bear fatally mauling Thoros before it is permanently put down. He later recognizes the mountain from his vision, and Jon decides to lead the group there. With Sandor's help, the group manages to capture a lone white, although they later are forced onto a frozen lake by the army of the dead, who wait for the lake to refreeze. Thoros soon dies of his wounds, and Sandor, despite his regret, starts drinking Thoros's wine before Jon snatches it from him to use it to burn Thoros's body. Sandor glares at Jon, but relents. As Jon, Jorah and Beric spot the Night King in the distance, Beric suggests that they go for the Night King himself, as slaying him will destroy the entire army, but Sandor warns Beric that with Thoros gone, this is effectively his last life now, as he can no longer be brought back. A while later, Sandor disinterestedly starts throwing rocks at the Whites. However, one rock skids across the surface, signaling that the ice has refrozen. Sandor kills many Whites with Gendry's hammer and saves Tormund's life before Daenerys saves the group, and witnesses Viserion's death at the hands of the Night King. As they fly back to Eastwatch, Sandor saves Jorah by grabbing him when he briefly falls off Drogon's back. Back at Eastwatch, Sandor parts ways from Tormund and Beric, the latter of which assures Sandor that they will meet again. Sandor hopes otherwise. Sandor travels with Jon via to the Dragon Pit Summit marking his first return to the city since he abandoned it during the Battle of the Blackwater. At one point, he ventures below decks to check the crate carrying the white. However, he backs away in fear when the crate shakes violently. He reunites with Brienne, and recalls how she nearly killed him. Brienne informs him of Arya's safety, and how she can defend herself and Sandor is pleased by the news. 
When Cersei arrives for the meeting in the dragon pit with Gregor at her side, Sandor steps out to confront his brother, remarking that Gregor is now even uglier than himself. Sandor threatens Gregor before leaving to collect the captured white. Sandor ultimately muses however that what happened to Gregor is irrelevant, and promises what's left of his brother that he still intends to end Gregor. He then kicks the crate containing the white, sending running towards Cersei. Sandor then pulls the white back from its adjacent chain, dragging it towards him before cutting it into pieces with his sword to prove the white's abilities. Cersei agrees to join Jon and Daenerys in the Great War against the White Walkers, however, she is secretly planning their demise by not sending men and hoping that the bulk of the Army of the Living will be killed by the Army of the Dead. Sandor later sails to White Harbor, as Daenerys and Jon join all their collective forces to band together at Winterfell to await the coming showdown the Night King.